All right, so basically, wait, the mic's not plugged in. Okay, so now I wanna say that I truly, 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 truly apologize for this video taking more than two weeks to actually come out. Okay, I really need to take those down. Like, seriously, I really need to take them. I mean, I've had them up there for like 10 years now. Um, but yeah, I'm truly sorry for this taking uh, around two weeks. Um, all right, roll the intro. All right, today is going to be a tutorial on how to do astrography, aka long exposure. Now you may be asking, what's long exposure? Essentially, it's setting your exposure time to something like 30 seconds and having your camera on a tripod and just letting it sit there and just have the sensor you know, wide open and letting it capture all that. Now there's requirements for these like long exposure, starry astrography photos, so let me go through them now. One, you're gonna need the darkest location possible. I'm not talking, you know, your backyard. I'm pitch black where you have to, when you look up at the sky, you actually see the Milky Way and you have to use a flashlight to walk. I mean, like drive an hour out into the middle of nowhere, like in the desert, you know, if you live by me. Well, you know, I'm pretty sure the majority of my viewers do. If you live somewhere like in the desert, just drive like an hour out, middle of nowhere, um, and that'll be your, the perfect dark area. Uh, two, I would say a lens with an aperture of three and a half or uh, lower. You, yeah, you probably want around 2.8, but um, the reason we don't want like f4 is because if you have f4, you're gonna need to actually make your exposure like 30 seconds and it's gonna be up there. And since it takes so long for it to capture the photos, you're actually gonna see the stars move in the photo and it's gonna look blurry. Uh, number three would just simply be a camera and a tripod. You know, if you got the camera, you're okay. You probably honestly do it on your phone. Um, I wanted to, I've always wanted to try it on my phone just to see how it would turn out, but um, a tripod is definitely something you're gonna need because if there is wind and it blows the camera, I mean, your picture's ruined and you, you know, you can't, it's physically impossible, for what I believe, you know, to sit like this for 30 seconds perfectly still. I mean, I can't even hold the camera perfectly still. Like, if I hold it, get a tripod. I mean, it doesn't matter what kind of tripod, as long as it's it's got some weight to it, it can, you know, pick your camera up. But I mean, generally as a photographer, you normally do have a tripod, so you should be good. Essentially, uh, raw photos, raw uh, astrography photos could look like this. And with a lot of editing, you know, like a lot, they could look like this. Now granted, they aren't the same photo, but the edited photo, I can't find the original raw file, but just picture that photo looking like the unedited one, because that is what it looked like. And anyways, that is a short and simple tutorial on how to take long exposure astrography photos uh, at night and make sure you do follow my Instagram if you actually want to do see some of those starry photos um, And yeah, that's it put my Instagram at the end of this video um, Also, if you actually do try out starry photos uh, Send me them. I'd, I'd love to see that, you know uh, Yeah, that's it. Maybe I'll showcase them in the video uh, All right, that's it. I will see you in the next one Goodbye